Uh, the the stroke of luck obviously comes from a, a well organised, well run club, and and the point you make about. Uh, the ideals that he had at Lincoln. He brings them to Watford. Watford are the first club to have a family stand, for example. I, I think it's probably hard for people to fully envision what the febrile atmosphere at a first division and a second division match in English football would have been like, where uh, it was largely anything goes and the police would police it up to a certain point and then they'd get out of the way and the, the swaying mass of the crowd would dictate where you ended up standing. And I and also... Uh... You know, there was so much racism and homophobia. So Watford had two black players, Luther Blissett and John Barnes, and a gay chairman. So, I mean, you know, they just attracted this, and every away game, this absolute kind of tsunami of abuse. And, you know, when John Barnes or Luther Blissett ran onto the pitch, they would be accompanied by a volley of bananas. Um, and there's a and John Barnes, there's a very good clip on YouTube somewhere of John Barnes, who's a very kind of elegant man, generally. Uh, someone throws a banana at him and he just turns his back on him and back heels it into the crowd. Um, and uh, it's a sort of brilliant riposte. Um, and Elton, you know, who, who uh, obviously is gay, um, and there would be all these kind of homophobic chants, which he kind of he always said he found funny, but there were times when he found them less funny. Um and the, the atmosphere was pretty ugly. And the idea that in the midst of all this kind of, all this kind of baying throng of people, that they, they, that they would, what would have this family stand, which was basically for kind of, you know, small children and nursing mothers and all the rest of it, and that they would put that next to the visitor's stand, <laughs> was, you know, an act of total insanity. But it actually worked, and uh, you know, and, and they were the, they were the pioneers of that, and um, and it's still going strong to this day. Um, so, so you know, I think that the, the, one of the things that Graham Taylor had was uh, a sort of enduring faith in human decency, whereby if you treated people like civilized human beings, the likelihood is or likely was, is that they that they would behave like that. Not always the case, but, you know, there was a fairly fairly decent chance. 